when we think about ants, most of us won't be filled with the kind of terror that would send us running from spiders or wasps. And that might be because they don't seem to pose the same threat. But in fact, ants could just be some of the most ferocious and efficient predators in the animal kingdom. The bullet ant is just two and a half centimetres long, but it packs a punch with the world's most painful sting. Venom delivered through a needle-thin stinger on its abdomen can create an immediate and brilliant pain so intense that it can totally incapacitate a grown man for 12 to 24 hours. But it's not just these weapon-wielding monsters that we should be in awe of. Even the most unassuming ant is part of a conquering civilization capable of defending to the death, pillaging an enemy's territory and systematically murdering anything in its path. Their key lies in the extraordinary organization and communication within a colony. Tens of thousands of sterile sisters think and act as one, creating a ruthless superorganism on a mission to survive and thrive. Back in the nest, individuals busy themselves with the never-ending jobs of building, nursing, cleaning, and even farming. But on the front lines, soldiers and workers are responsible for defense and offense. They're completely blind, but instead rely on super sensitive antennae that are tuned to sounds, smell, and touch. And they're communicating via a potent cocktail of chemical pheromones. They're able to coordinate themselves without alerting their adversaries. The most important job is to defend the nest from would-be attackers. This weaver ant's nest is like a fortress with guards posted all around on the lookout for potential threats. When raiders from a nearby colony are spotted, the guard sends out a pheromone call that brings defenders streaming out of the nest. They squirt formic acid at their enemies. It's a corrosive chemical weapon named after the ants themselves, the Formicidae family. In the bitter battle for the fortress, many workers from both sides will perish. But as long as the queen and her council remain safe inside, the superorganism lives on. It's not all about defense though. Although some species of ant focus on farming and foraging to sustain the colony, Others are ferocious hunters. A termite nest is a conveniently packaged meal for these driver ants. All over the world, ants are the termites' main predators, and when the ants attack, the termites will do anything to keep their queen safe. They beat their heads against the floor in a threat display, but the ants aren't deterred. They seal the queen and her courtiers in her chamber, building mud and saliva walls that will harden like concrete. And when it comes to one-to-one -to -one combat, the termite's huge muscular head and jaws are a good defense against the soldier ant's brute force. But for ants, there's most definitely strength in numbers and they rarely choose to take down prey on their own. Army ants send vast search parties out into the forest every day, looking for anything alive. The probing hordes spread out across a 10 meter wide front, searching with their antennae for the telltale movement of potential prey. As long as an insect stays still, it's safe but the slightest twitch will bring the attackers swarming. In a matter of seconds, hundreds of ants pin it down and rip it limb from limb. Struggling only fuels the furious aggression. In this way, sheer numbers of army ants are able to flush out and attack even the fiercest of foes. And by working together, they can transcend their individual size. Even us humans aren't safe from the tiny terrors. Fire ants were first introduced to America from Brazil in the 1930s. These ants in particular wreak havoc with our modern lives since they've got a particular affinity for electricity. The scientists don't know what it is exactly that attracts them to electrical fields, but a mass of their bodies can short circuit electrical switches and components, causing millions of dollars of damage every year in the US alone. And with stings that burn and colonies that can grow by tens of thousands every year, they're the silent invaders capable of cutting off our electrical lifelines right under our noses. 
who would have imagined that the humble ant, delicate and blind, is actually a formidable foe, capable of bringing a grown man, the forest floor, and even human civilization to its knees. Let me know how you feel about ants in the comments below. And as always, like, share, and subscribe to Earth Unplugged for more surprising nature videos. See you next time.